came, haven't stopped thinking about this since I came home, getting back out on the trail. Um, just had a Saturday into Sunday available, so I'm uh, going out for an overnighter, my first one since I've been home, and it's amazing. Right here in Jersey, uh, so it's close to where I live, less than an hour, an hour away. Uh, so if any of you have hiked uh, the uh, AT through Jersey, this is up near uh, Hope Blairstown, up in that area. And I'm probably just doing about a six mile out and uh, spending the night because I don't have much time. It's already almost two in the afternoon. So I'll do about six miles out, spend the night, and uh, then head back in the morning. It's supposed to about start raining tonight about... Well, actually, tomorrow morning at around 1 in the morning. And uh, I'll feel right at home being out in the cold rain. About 42 degrees, 40 degrees for a low tonight. And rainy, so good to be back out here. It just feels fantastic. I'm sure I won't be saying that come morning when I'm cold and wet. Through hiker. Just met a through hiker named Tumbelina. Um, she's actually started from Katahdin back in July. Had a couple of delays along the way. The partner she was hiking with had a ruptured Achilles tendon, so she got laid up there for a while and whatnot. But um, she looked familiar to me, and and her name sounds vaguely familiar. I think we might have bumped into each other up in the main area. Um, she said that she recognized my name, my trail name, Tin Man. So <laughs> small world, amazing. I certainly didn't expect to see any through hikers out here. Uh, she's hoping to finish the, by the end of the season, so good luck to Tumbelina. I didn't get to see scenery like this during my through hike because I started when it was cold and had been cold for the winter and all the leaves were off the trees and then I ended before the leaves turned and got color to them. So this is a little treat here to be able to see the fall colors while they're still here. Already November and uh, I still got a lot of color out here, so it's a beautiful treat. Didn't expect to see this much color out here. Feels a little tough being back on the rocks. Uh, this is nice and smooth here, but Jersey's got to share rocks and uh, my feet just aren't used to it anymore. But they're feeling good, feeling good. So, got a couple more hours of daylight. Should put me at the, uh, I think I'm going to go to the Brinks shelter tonight and there's a some tent sites there there's a bear box so i don't have to hang a bag and all that good stuff so conveniences of home and a nice easy stretch of trail right here so loving every minute of it sure did miss this the scenery and the solitude it's awesome really great to see you again Feeling good out here. Not looking forward to that rain now. Hello. <laughs> Heard somebody calling from the woods and he asked if I could give him a hand dragging his deer over here. So we got a beauty. Nice doe he just shot today. There you go, man. Enjoy. Thank you. Take care. Here's how unintelligent I am. A gentleman asked me to give him a hand pulling that deer. He said, Do you want to carry my bow or, uh, or help me or, or drag the deer up the rest of that hill? So I said, I'm going to give him a break and I'll, I'll drag the deer. He can take a breather and carry his bow. So I did that and I'm getting to the top of the hill where I was bringing him to. And I realized I'm still wearing my, my pack on my back that's got like 30 plus pounds to it. <laughs> so there's a shining example of a lack of intelligence by my part. <laughs> but it was a pretty animal he had there. I hear started a little after two. It's a little before five, so a little less than three hours. And did about almost eight miles. Um, walking down the path now, the side trail to the Brinks Road shelter. And I don't think I've ever been here. It's one of the reasons I picked this uh, this, this route today because it um it's about the right distance for the time I had. And the shelter on Gut Hooks, it looks like they just built it not long ago. The comments like back in um, August, I think it was, was that it was just being finished or whatever. So I'm looking forward to seeing a new shelter. I just want
Got my vacation house set up already. Got a nice spot out here. And I certainly didn't expect to find anybody out here, but the shelter's up there on the hill. And there's two other people here. There's a couple, so I'm going to stay down here out of the way. I thought I'd have it all to myself, now, but I guess not. But anyway, I'm going to go up there and uh, see if they mind me eating up there at the table. I'll, I'll show you the shelter when I get up there. This is a new shelter here at uh, Brinks Road. Looks like it's pretty new. Not quite as new as I expected, but it's nice. It's got a front porch on it. And I'll show you the inside. Very nice accommodations. Got a bench in there. Beautiful. And it's a room with a view. Awesome. So I'm going to have a dinner by the table and then get out of these folks' hair. Had some dinner and got the tent set up. All set for the night. Feels really familiar and comfortable here. It's nice and quiet. And, uh, chilly chilly night coming up rain's supposed to start about midnight now they're saying I think there's about a 70 percent chance until about four in the morning and then it's supposed to slid up a little bit and we'll see we'll see what the day brings should be interesting so y'all have a good night bright and early sunday morning trying a little night hike here uh, the camera doesn't do it justice i mean you can see pretty good the only thing is right now is that i'm hitting quite a bit of fog so I'm getting a lot of reflection back from the light to the uh, to my eyes, so it kind of makes it hard to see. So it stopped raining a little bit towards morning, and I figured, uh, let me just get up and and pack up while it's not raining, and uh, start hitting the trail nice and slow, and getting the experience of a night hike in, and so getting the total package in the short trip. See you when the light cut, when the sun comes up. Back to the car. A pretty good trip overnight. Um, the only problem was the extra people that came in after dark. There was another tent full of three people that came in and they're kind of noisy and couldn't get to sleep till about after midnight. So that made it a little unpleasant. But otherwise, it was a good trip. So felt good to be back out. Take care. Bye.